Number 1. Begin Hof Turnhout. On an elongated plaza, bookend by a gatehouse at one end and a chapel at the other, is a medieval community for lay religious women, or Beguines. This complex was likely founded around the 1200s and its last resident passed away as recently as 2002. Turnhout's Beguinage has had UNESCO World Heritage listing since 1998. Number 2. National Playing Card Museum. The international playing card and board game company Cardamundi is headquartered in Turnhout, so there's no better location for a museum all about the evolution and manufacture of playing cards. This is found in an old factory building dating to 1926 and has a collection much more engaging than the name suggests. Number 3. Castle of the Dukes of Brabant. Walking Turnhout city center you may be stopped in your tracks by this moated castle, the origins of which go right back to the 1200s as a hunting lodge for the Dukes of Brabant. The castle's present Renaissance appearance is from the 16th century when Mary of Austria turned it into a luxurious residence. Number 4. St. Pieterskirk. On its own in the middle of Grote Market stands the city's main Roman Catholic place of worship, some pieces of which have been here since the 1100s. This can be seen in the lower sections of the tower, while the remainder of the building is a melange of styles from different periods. The nave for example was enlarged in the middle of the 18th century. Number 5. Taxandria Museum. Turnhout's local history museum is in a gorgeous 16th century townhouse, the second oldest burger residence in the city and a guesthouse for distinguished visitors in old times. The museum is the HQ for Taxandria an archaeological society devoted to the Kempen area, founded in 1903 and donating its big collection to Turnhout in 1931. Number 6. Heiligheartkirk. The highest tower in Turnhout belongs to the Heiligheartkirk, a neo-Gothic church completed in 1907. That tower is 92 meters tall and is visible on every approach to the city. Although the church is relatively young, it deserves your attention for the exceptional level of craftsmanship that went into its fixtures and decoration. Number 7. Landschap de Leerman. East of the city, just past Oud Turnhout is one of the oldest protected nature reserves in Belgium. This is Landschap de Leerman, in classic Kempen countryside made up of heathland, coniferous forest and dry drifting dunes that stoop to saturated fens. It's all a habitat for beautiful wildflowers like the marsh gentian. Number 8. Culturuis de Warrant. Turnhout has a celebrated multidisciplinary cultural center with the sort of programming you might expect in a much larger city. Culturuis de Warrant was updated in a couple of phases during the 2010s, with a new main hall, new theater, additional performance and exhibition spaces, and a cafe. There's even an underground live music and dance venue. Number 9. Route Bells Leintje. There's a 37-kilometer cycle path, heading north from Turnhout and crossing the border as far as Tilburg. This is on the course of the old Bells Leintje Railway, laid down by the Grand Central Belgi Consortium in the 1860s, shutting down in 1973 and turned into a greenway in 1990. Apart from on a few short sections, there's no road traffic to contend with. Number 10. Desselskoten Canal. Passing by Turnhout, this waterway arcs through the Kempen landscape for 63 kilometers from Dessel in the E to Skoten outside Antwerp in the west where it joins the larger Albert Canal. The Desselskoten Canal was built in the 1840s and was ready by 1851 with the purpose of funneling the mineral-rich waters of the River Meuse into the poor Kempen soils. Hope you like this video. For more videos, please subscribe to our channel.